Hi, we're, we're the, the fairies. fairies. <laughs> I'm Harmony. And I'm Rhapsody. <laughs> Rhapsody and I woke up in the snuggery this morning and there was a beautiful butterfly floating outside the window. Oh, it flitted and it fluttered so magically and its wings were the most stunning colours of bright blue and apple green. We loved the butterfly so much that we decided all of today should be about butterflies. <laughs> so, all of you butterflies at home, it's time to get up and get moving. Time to shimmy and shake and stretch. From the tips of your toes to the top of your head, let's fly through the magical castle doors to fairy princess minuet. <laughs> Fairy hello, girls and boys. It's time for fairy dancing manners. Sitting pretty nice, straight back, legs are crossed, hands in my lap. Turning on my listening ears, turning on my watching eyes, turning off my talking tongue. Three claps and Today's song is called Butterfly. You'll notice in this dance that we use our arms a lot. That's because we're pretending that our arms are the wings of a butterfly. So soft, gentle movements, just like butterflies. We're going to start with taking one wing up and then the other wing. And slowly standing. Well done fairies. Now, can you sway your wings to one side, then back to the centre and to the other side. You're very clever. Now, can we flutter our wings a little more quickly? That's the way. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Now for the tricky part. Can we Step turn to one side and then step turn to the other side. Now to finish off fairies, I would like you to wrap your wings around your bodies for a nice cosy cuddle and then gently kneel to finish. I think you're ready to dance butterfly. Princess perfect. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Well, actually, I'm a butterfly, but it rhymes better, don't you think? <laughs> I think someone's got a new dress up. <laughs> oh, hello, my wizardly friend. <laughs> Is it fairy dance time yet? Oh, only one way to tell the time in fairyland. Ask clickety clock. <laughs> <laughs> fairyland, clickety clock, we need to know the time. Please show yourself in Fairyland and let us hear you chime. Tick tock, clickety clock, tick tock, clickety clock, tick tock, clickety clock, chime. Hello, Fairyland. It's a fan fairy tastic day. My big hand is pointing straight up. So it's something o'clock. And my little hand is pointing to the four. So it must be tick tock, clickety clock, four o'clock on the fairyland clock. Fairy goodbye. <laughs> oh, four o'clock on the clickety clock. Twirly one, <coughs> twirly two, <coughs> twirly three, <coughs> twirly four. <coughs> Four o'clock on the clickety clock. Time for fairy dancing. Oh, let's call for the dancing fairy all together. After the count of fairy three, call fairy princess minuet. Fairy one, fairy two, fairy three, fairy princess minuet. Sunbeam 
waiting everywhere. Butterfly, wings are dancing. Butterfly, dainty tiptoes through the sky. As you twirl and glide, butterfly, come fly with me. Butterfly, the world will see. Butterfly, my arms are wings. Butterfly. Butterfly, so soft and graceful. Butterfly, let me dance in your garden. Let me be your friend. Butterfly, wings like rainbows. Butterfly, catching sunbeams, blow a kiss. Come and fly with me. A pretty song. Rhapsody, did you know that butterflies don't start their lives as butterflies? They start out as tiny little caterpillars. What? Really? Those beautiful butterflies start out as little caterpillars? How on <laughs> earth does that happen? Um, oh, well, I think it might have something to do with the magic of nature, oh. but I'm not too sure. Oh, why don't we ask Cordeline the Clever Pixie? She might be able to tell us how it happens. <laughs> Special magic fairy wand, I need a little help. Please bring to me a fairy mail and a fairy pen as well. Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us how a tiny caterpillar can turn into a beautiful fluttering butterfly. Love, harmony and rhapsody. Mm -hmm. oh, harmony, I just cannot believe that a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Oh, they must use really strong fairy magic, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's butterfly magic, Rhapsody. Oh. <laughs> I hope Cordeline can help us. Let's send a letter by fairy mail. Very hello. I'm Cordeline the Clever Pixie. 
Whenever anyone needs an answer to a tricky question, I'm the pixie to ask. Let's see what needs answering today. Oh! <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us how a little fat caterpillar can turn into a beautiful fluttering butterfly? <laughs> Firstly, the butterfly lays an egg on a particularly tasty leaf which she knows the young caterpillar will eat. The larva or caterpillar then hatches from the egg about six days after it's laid. The tiny creature is so, so hungry that it eats and eats and eats everything in sight. Then when it's really, really fat, the caterpillar spins a silk shell around itself. That's called a chrysalis. Once inside the chrysalis, amazing changes start to happen. Two wings are built. A long tongue grows so the butterfly can eat nectar. Two antennae grow and the butterfly body is formed. Once the whole butterfly is made, it emerges from the chrysalis. No longer a little fat caterpillar, but now a beautiful fluttering butterfly. <laughs> Very goodbye. Being fairy green is cool, being fairy green is great. With a green step, each day Earth can be saved. So help our planet Earth and do the things we say. With a green step, each day Earth can be saved. Today's fairy green tip to put in our fairy green book. Thank you. It's all about creating lovely gardens so that insects like uh, butterflies and, well, <laughs> Like me, I'm a very special bee, as you can probably see. But most insects don't live in fairyland. They live in your garden. Oh, if you put on your quiet shoes and creep around like a mouse... <laughs> ah, a mouse! Oh, sorry, that was just quite realistic. <laughs> You'll be able to spot so many insects like butterflies and grasshoppers. Oh, yes, and uh, cockroaches, flies, dragonflies, earwigs. They all play an important role in our life. Mm. Burrowing bugs like ants and beetles dig deep holes in the soil so that the air can get in and then water can get right down to the roots and give the plants energy. Mm. And then bees like me have a very important job in the garden. We have to pollinate the flowering plants. <laughs> pollinate? What's pollinate, Barnaby? It's where bees like me fly to a flower <laughs> and collect sweet nectar. <laughs> but then sometimes pollen gets stuck to our legs. So we fly to other flowers and spread the pollen all around the garden and the flowering plants. Ooh. So today's fairy green tip is to make your garden insect friendly so friends like Barnaby will love to fly through it and do his thing. Encourage your family to plant more flowers and vegetables and fruit trees. Mm. You'll be doing two things. Firstly, you're making the garden look bam, fuzzy, tastic. And secondly, you'll be helping to grow some yummy, healthy fruit and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Remember our rhyme. With, With a green, green step, step each day, day Earth can be saved! saved. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> We're, We're the fairies. fairies. I'm Harmony. I'm Brapsody. And I'm Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bee. And I'm Witty the Wizard. Welcome to Fairyland! <laughs> Sometimes we have songs for boys. <laughs> Bee boys like me that like to funk and groove and hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, and wizards like me who like to swoosh and whoosh. Cut me a beat, Barnaby. Right. Sometimes we have songs for girls. Oh, just like today's song, Harmony. Hmm, I wonder if you can guess what it's called. Oh. It's all about you. It's named after you. It's Fairy Dancing Girl. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs>
dancing in our fairyland, but I wonder how many different kinds of dancing there are in the world. Oh, well, I think there's lots and lots. Mm. I know that my favourite type of dancing is swing dancing. <laughs> oh, I like boot scooting. <laughs> well, I'm sure there must be much more than that. Mm. This is the perfect question to ask our pixie friend, Cordeline the Clever Pixie. <laughs> Special magic fairy wand, I need a little help. Please bring to me a fairy mail and a fairy pen as well. <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us how many different types of dancing there are in the world? <laughs> Love, harmony and rhapsody. Exciting harmony. Let's send it by fairy mail and hopefully Cordeline can help us with the answer a bit later on. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cordeline the Clever Pixie. Whenever anyone needs an answer to a tricky question, I'm the pixie to ask. Now, let's see what today's question is. <laughs> Dear Cordeline, <laughs> I just love receiving fairy mails with my name on them. Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us how many different kinds of dances there are in the world? <laughs> well, I'm sure the right pixie to answer this question. There are so many different kinds of dances in the world that I think I should show you in actions, not words. There's fairy dancing. That's sometimes called jazz ballet. There's fairy ballet, <laughs> and there's jiving, and flamenco, <laughs> and disco, and waltzing, and there's even a bit of funk. Actually, fairies, that's just a few of the different styles of dances. The world is full of different dances, and some countries even have their own national dances. And there are dances being made up all the time. So the answer is lots and lots and lots. <laughs> Very goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, we're, we're the, the Bubble, Bubble Fairies. Fairies. And welcome to Fairyland. I'm Harmony Bubble. I'm Rhapsody Bubble. And I'm Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bubble Blowing Bee. Try saying that three times really fast. Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bubble Blowing Bee. Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bubble Blowing Bee. Barnaby the Busy Bubble Blowing Bee. We're having a bubble day today in Fairyland. We just love fairy bubbles. They're so pretty and shiny. Oh, I like it when I blow hundreds of tiny bubbles. <laughs> Being the big, strong bee that I am, I'm going to blow the biggest bubble Fairyland has ever seen. 
Whew, time to pump myself up. Come on, Barnaby, you've done this a thousand times in training. You can do it. Oh, I think it's time we warmed up our bodies with Fairy Princess Minuet. Come on, come with us to the Fairyland Dance Studio. <laughs> time to shimmy and shake and stretch. From the tip of your toes through the top of your head. Let's fly through the magical castle doors to, to Fairy, Fairy Princess, Princess Minuet. Minuet. Hello fairies, elves, b-boys and wizards. It's that warm-up time of the day. Are you up on your feet? Ready to join in? Great. Today, we have a very special bubbly rhyme to help us with our stretch. Lots of fairy bubbles floating in the air. Lots of fairy bubbles popping here and there. Lots of fairy bubbles tickling my nose. Drifting down to earth and landing on my toes. Wow, do you think you'd be able to join in with me this time? Great. Do you have a safe space? Perfect. Lots of fairy bubbles floating in the air. Lots of fairy bubbles popping here and there. Lots of fairy bubbles tickling my nose. Drifting down to earth and landing on my toes. Wow, great stretching everyone. I hope you're warmed up and ready to go. Princess Perfect. Well, that was a very bubbly kind of warm up, wasn't it? Isn't it funny how some words can make you feel just like the word? Bubble. Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just makes me feel really Bubbly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, why don't you sing with us? <laughs> you think that you can see right through The bubbles as they pass by you You think they should be clear but no run out as well. Aww. Oh, fairy bother. It was such a good idea to blow bubbles all day long. Fairies, awful news. I wanted to blow the biggest, best giant bee bubble, but, well, I've run out of the special fairy bubble mixture. Have you got any? No, we've run out too, Barnaby. 
Harmony, can't you come up with a plan, please? <sighs> well, I know that to make a special fairy bubble mixture, you need detergent and water, but I'm not entirely sure of the whole recipe. Uh, hmm. But I think I know a clever pixie friend who might know the recipe. Cordeline the, the Clever, clever pixie. pixie! Yay! <laughs> Special magic fairy wand, we need a little help. Please bring to us a fairy mail and a fairy pen as well. <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please give us a recipe to make a special fairy bubble mixture? <laughs> <laughs> Love from Harmony, Rhapsody and Barnaby. Yay. Thanks, Harmony. <laughs> I so want to blow bubbles all day long. I hope Cordeline has the answer. Oh, me too. Well, quick, let's send it by fairy mail. Hmm. <laughs> Wrote a special letter. This letter now we send. Please grow wings and fly, fly, fly. Fairy hello. A fairy male has told me that it's a bubbly kind of day in fairyland today. And Harmony, Rhapsody and Barnaby need my very best bubble blowing mixture. They've certainly come to the right pixie. The magic ingredients are one litre of water, two thirds of a cup of dishwashing detergent and the magic fairy ingredient is something called glycerine. This makes the best bubbles. I've made up three very special bottles of bubbles for my fairyland friends to have fun with today. Time to magic the recipe and bubbles to fairyland. Special magic pixie dust, please help me here today and deliver these pixie bubbles so my fairyland friends can play. Fairy goodbye. can blow bubbles all day. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're, We're the, the fairies. fairies. I'm purple harmony with blonde hair. And I'm pink rhapsody with dark hair. <laughs> We're best fairy friends, mm -hmm. but if you look at us, we're really quite the opposite. <laughs> I'm Wizard a Wizard with a sad face. Bow. And I'm Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bee. Hippy hoppy happy as can be. <laughs> happy and sad. Opposites. <laughs> oh, opposite means very different, like hot and cold or wet and dry. <laughs> Completely different, like long and short, low and high. I wonder if Minuet can warm up our bodies in a very opposite kind of way. <laughs> uh, Rhapsody. What does opposite mean? I thought we were talking about the word opposite. Just one of those fun little made-up words that makes Fairyland an interesting place to be. Mm. <laughs> opposite. <laughs> Sounds be delightful, Rhapsody. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that Minuet can warm us up in an opposite kind of way. <laughs> Why don't we all get warmed up together? Time to shimmy and shake and stretch. From the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Let's fly through the magical castle doors to Fairy Princess Minuet. <laughs> fairy, hello. Thanks for joining me in my Fairyland dance studio. Come on, let's stretch our bodies and warm up our fairy muscles. Today, our warm up is full of opposites. Let's start the stretch by taking our hands up to the sky. That's the way. Now let's do the opposite. 
and take our hands all the way to the fairy ground. Now let's make ourselves as big as we can. Arms and legs out as wide as they can go. Now let's do the opposite and make yourself as small as you can. How small can you go? Well done fairies. Now we're going to warm up our dancing feet. With some lovely points. And let's do the opposite by flexing our feet. Very good. We do this by digging our heels into the ground and pointing our toes to the sky. Now one last thing to warm up. Let's skip around in a circle with our hands on our hips. And now, back in the other direction. <laughs> what a great opposite warm-up. Thanks for joining in. Princess Perfect. Wow! Busy, buzzy, brilliant song! Well, Barnaby, if I was to take the opposite point of view, I would say that that was a very bad song. Oh, horrid, in fact. Oh, actually, I think it was a whiz-bang amazing song. But if we're going to play the opposite game... Uh, well, if you're going to be like that... <laughs> another opposite. <clears throat> I am funny and interesting. <laughs> and Wizzy is not. I am funny and interesting. Ah, uh, not. <laughs> oh. Opposite, like you and me, Barnaby. I'm a powerful and majestic wizard. And Barnaby, well, he's just a buzzing bee. <laughs> <laughs> like you're powerful and majestic. I am too. I know. I too. I know. I too. I know. 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 Well, if we're going to have another opposite, Barnaby and Wizzy have opposite opinions. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> yes, we do. No, I don't. No, we, no, yes, we, we do. do. We don't. Oh, <laughs> Wizzy. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, it's the opposite game. We're oh, acting. Oh. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> Well, I think that we should spend the rest of today trying to think of as many opposites as we possibly can. <gasps> like fast and slow. Um, black and white. Oh, uh, big and small. Wrong and right. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we write to Cordeline the Clever Pixie and see if she can come up with fairy ten opposite -y things. Ooh. I wonder if she can think of that many. Mm. Special magic fairy wand, I need a little help. Please bring to me a fairy mail and a fairy pen as well. <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, we are having an opposite day. Can you think of fairy ten things that are opposite? Love, harmony and rhapsody. <laughs> Let's 
send it by fairy mail. <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, we are having an opposite day in Fairyland today. Can you please tell us ten things that are opposite? Love from Harmony and Rhapsody. Oh, <laughs> I just love opposites and it's so much fun thinking of as many as I can. Let me see now. Fairy 1, clean and dirty. Fairy 2, Tight and loose. Fairy three, easy and difficult. Fairy four, good and bad. Fairy five, light and dark. Fairy six, low and high. Fairy seven, loud and shh, quiet. Fairy eight, empty and full. Fairy 9, wet and dry. Fairy 10, right and wrong. Fairy 10 opposites, fairy goodbye. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> We're the fairies. Oh, and I'm Barnaby the Busy Fuzzy Bee. And today I'm going to be a circle all day long! <laughs> and I'm the amazing, the sensational, well, perhaps not sensational, Wizzy the Wizard! Oh, look at my shape as I hold out my cape. <laughs> I'm going to be a triangle from now to the end of the day. <laughs> oh, you are sensational, Wizzy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm Harmony and I'm going to be a heart shape today. Oh. <laughs> I love drawing love hearts because a heart shape means I love you. <laughs> oh. And I'm Rhapsody, and today I'm going to be a star. Oh, do you see my wand? That is a star shape. And Minuet is going to help warm up our bodies in a very shapey kind of way. Fairy hello. I've heard that today is a day full of shapes. There are so many different shapes. There are circles and squares and rectangles and diamonds, and hearts, and oh my goodness, too many to list them all. Let's start today's warm up. And stretch our bodies and warm up our fairy muscles. Let's make a long, tall rectangle shape by taking our arms all the way up. That's a stretchy rectangle. Now how about a triangle? Now let's warm up our torsos. That is the top part of our fairy bodies. Can we twist our torsos back and forth? Back and forth. Very good fairies. Now, what about a shape that doesn't have straight sides? A circle. We could circle our wrists like this. And we could also circle our ankles. Very good. Now how about a great big circle with our arms to open out our shoulders and our chest. To finish off our stretchy warm up today, can we make a silly wiggly slithery shape? Just like a squiggly line on a page. How do you think you would do that? Very wonderful. Thanks for joining in today. Princess Perfect. Oh, fairies, Barnaby, I've got this fair 
fabulous velvet pouch full of shapes. I know what most of them are called, but I'm stuck in a few. Can you help? Sure. Ooh, how much fun. Oh, playing games is my favourite thing to do. <laughs> Apart from all of my other favourite things to do. <laughs> Show us your shapes, Wizzy. Okay. Uh, what's this one? <gasps> That's, That's a square! <laughs> and. What's this one? <gasps> it's a triangle! triangle. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this one? <gasps> That's, That's a circle. circle! That was an easy one. I know that one. <laughs> and what's. This one. <gasps> That's a. Uh, um, um, well, it looks a bit like. Oh, um, oh, I know. It's a, a. How many sides does it have? Mm. Why don't you count with us? Fairy one, fairy two, fairy three, fairy four, fairy five. Oh, it's got five sides, so it's. Huh. It's a five sided shape. What was that, Barnaby? It's a five sided shape. Oh, I see. It's called a five sided shape. <laughs> I think this bee and wizard are playing tricks on us. They don't know the answer at all. This is a perfect question for... Cordyline the Clever Pixie. <laughs> Special magic fairy wand, I need a little help. Please bring to me a fairy mail and fairy pen as well. <laughs> ah. Dear Cordyline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us what a five-sided shape is called. <laughs> Harmony, can Wizzy and I help you send the fairy mail? Oh, please, please, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> Yay! We wrote a special letter Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us what a five-sided shape is called? Oh. <laughs> Every shape has a different name. And most shapes end in the sound gone. Funny sound, isn't it? Can you say it with me? Gone. Perfect. Again? Gone. A five-sided shape is called a pentagon. As you add more sides, the name changes. There's hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. So, my fairyland friends, a five-sided shape is called a pentagon. <laughs> Very goodbye. I'm a fairy circle. I'm round as round can be, I am not straight. I cannot bend, I just go round and round and round, I never end. I'm a fairy square, four sides make up my walls and every side. From one to four is just the same as the one before. Lateral triangle. Three straight sides have I all the same. If you measure me up, fairy one, two, three, triangular. I'm a pretty hard shape. My shape means lots of love. Draw me in the air. Draw me on my heart with a fairy kiss. Love you from the stars. star five points that sparkle bright see me at night in the
Today's song is Fairy Drama Queen, so let's get started with some hops. Hop two, three, hop two, three. <laughs> well done, fairies. Now, can you open your wings from behind your shoulders as you step behind, step together? Are you ready? And then back the other way. Now for my favourite step. Can you put your hands all the way out in front and do some great big fairy hips? <laughs> I love that move. Now what about our great big smiley faces? And how much we love listening to fairy music. <laughs> well done fairies. Now can you show me some more fun movements, like acting and singing. And how much we love to dance and sing. Wow fairies, they were beautiful curtsies. Now, let's finish off with some flick kicks. And shimmer the fairy dust over here and shimmer the fairy dust over there. And fairies, I think you've got it. Morning all! Oh, morning! <laughs> I've heard today is a day all about fairy drama queens. And although I'm not a fairy, I do think I qualify for... Drum roll, please. <laughs> fairy drama queen! Oh, perfect, <laughs> Barnaby. <gasps> fairies and elves, Ooh. girls and boys, Ooh. performed for the first time ever for your enjoyment, it's... Fairy Drama Queen! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that performance was so much fun. I want to do some more. I hope Rainbow Fairy has a fun activity for us today that's based all around performing. Uh, speaking of performing, I think a certain wizard's trying to make an entrance. Look out! Oh, you still need to practice your landings. Oh, whistling weebies, I do need to practice my landings. <sighs> oh, and a good morning to you, fairies. Hi, Wizzy. Hi, oh, Wizzy, we were just about to have a look in the Fairyland Dance Studio mm -hmm. to see if Rainbow was ready to do an activity based around performing. Oh. Well, maybe we could call her here instead. If all four of us call out for her, she's bound to hear. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> fairy one, fairy two, fairy three. Rainbow Fairy! Oh, oh, I don't think she heard us. Let's try it again, but this time in our biggest, loudest voices. Are you ready? Fairy one, fairy two, fairy three. Rainbow Fairy! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> fairy, good morning to all my Fairyland friends. Did I hear you call my name? Oh, you did, Rainbow. We were wondering if you could do your activity here in Fairyland today. Oh, we're having a performing day and we need some performing activities. Performing activity? Yes. Hmm. Let me think while I sing. <laughs> On your feet, get moving. It's time to have some fun. We'll jump and skip, then stop and freeze. We'll shimmy a bit, then use our knees. Float like butterflies, fly, fly, fly. Or star jump just like stars in the sky. Fairy activity is fun to do. Fun for us and fun for you. On your feet, get moving. On your feet, get moving. Get up, get up, get moving. It's time to Let's do a really fun face and vocal activity. Mm -hmm. Something I always do before I sing really loudly on the stage. Mm -hmm. By having some fun warming up our vocal cords, our lungs, our diaphragm, <laughs> and all the muscles in our face, we'll be ready to be fan fairy tastic fairy drama queens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm, let me think. First, let's warm up all the muscles in our face by screwing up your face in all sorts of funny ways and then releasing it. <laughs> you look very, very funny when you do that warm-up. Hmm. Now let's try warming up our lips by blowing air through them. Okay. <laughs> that tickles my lips. <laughs> and now for a really fun one. We're going to say some letters of the alphabet called vowels using really big exaggerated sounds. A, E, I, O and U are the letters we're going to use. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Make sure we're big, gorgeous cows chewing cud. Okay. A, E, I, O. <laughs> Rainbow magic! <laughs> and now it's time to finish. So let's sing really loudly, just like this. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> Fan fairy tastic. Fan fairy tastic. <laughs> well, that activity was as was as colourful as, well, a rainbow. <laughs> Time for me to go. Fairy goodbye. Oh, thanks, oh, rainbow. Bye. 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 Oh, Wizzy, hmm? we've got to go. It's time for Fairy Green. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> bye, fairies. Oh, bye. Quick. Bye. 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 Have fun. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Ay. <laughs> <laughs> Being fairy queen is cool, being fairy green is great. With a green step, each day Earth can be saved. So help our planet Earth and do the things we say. With a green step, each day Earth can be saved. <laughs> Today, 
I wanted to tell you all about energy. What? We're not doing a fairy green tip today. Well, not really, Wizzy. I mean, the clever girls and boys know we have to conserve energy by switching off a light bulb or a TV or a heater. <laughs> but we need to tell them what energy actually is. Ooh. <clears throat> energy is the ability to do work. See how my body is working. Working here, working there, working everywhere. And it gets its energy by eating good food and drinking lots of water. That's the fuel that powers me. <laughs> different fuels power different things. Mm -hmm. A car uses petrol, a light bulb uses electricity, and an oven can use gas. It's all a bit complicated, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, Barnaby, do you know there's two types of energy? Oh, yes, Wizzy. There's two types of energy, and what are they? Well, there are... Uh, uh, well, there's two types of energy. You have no idea what the energy is, do you, Wizzy? Oh, whistling with digits. I've forgotten them. I know. Let's ask Cordeline the Clever Pixie. Oh, good idea. <laughs> I'm going to get a fairy pen and a fairy mail, and I'll be back in five fairy seconds. Count with him, will you? <laughs> oh, can you help me? Here we go. Fairy one, fairy two, fairy three, fairy four, fairy five! <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us the two different forms of energy? Love, Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bee. And Wizzy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, let's send it by fairy mail. <laughs> Wrote a special letter. This letter now we send. Please grow wings and fly, fly, fly. Take to our friend. Oh, fairy hello. It's that clever pixie time of the day. What magical question am I being asked today? Oh! <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us two different kinds of energy? Love from Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bee. What a fan pixie-tastic question. There are two different kinds of energy, renewable energy and non-renewable energy. Renewable energy never runs out because it comes from things like the sun, the water and the wind. Non-renewable energy can take years millions of years, in fact, to be formed again from things like fossil fuels, such as oil, natural gas, coal and nuclear energy. The best energy in the world is renewable energy because the sun is always going to shine, the water is always going to fall from the sky and the wind is always going to blow. Hope that helps. Very goodbye. Oh, hello. We're, We're the Star, Star Fairies. Fairies. I'm Starry Harmony. I'm Starry Rhapsody. And I'm Starry Starry Barnaby the Busy Buzzy Bee. And I'm Starry Starry Wizzy the Wizard. Welcome to a Starry Starry Fairyland. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's time to see if Fairy Princess Minuet has a Starry Starry warm-up for us today. Time to shimmy and shake and stretch. From the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Let's fly through the magical castle doors. To Fairy Princess Minuet. Fairy hello. Dancing is one of the best ways to exercise. So let's stretch our bodies and warm up our fairy muscles. Today, we have Jethro the Jitterboy helping us. Fairy hello, Jethro. For today's warm-up, let's play a game of Fairy Says. 
Do you have your best fairy listening ears turned on, Jethro? Good. Do you have your best fairy listening ears turned on at home? I knew you would. Now listen carefully to what Fairy says and follow the instructions. Fairy says stretch to one side. Well done everyone. Copy Jethro. That's the way. Now stretch to the other side. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Now Jethro, I think Fairy says we should do some very funky star jumps. Fairy says jog on the spot. Now with arms up and down. And now around in a circle. Don't get dizzy. Fairy says bend over and touch your toes. Try to keep your knees nice and straight Jethro. Now let's finish our warm up today with a deep breath in to fill our lungs with air. Well done everyone today. You did a fan fairy tastic job. Princess perfect. Let's see if you can guess which song we're talking about. <laughs> Firstly, you have to jump. Oh, and then jump. Oh, and then you have to start. Oh, don't forget the slide, wiggle, wiggle, slide. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. So, no matter who or where you are... Get ready, get set. It's Jump, Jump, Star! <laughs> Jump, jump, star, jump, jump, star, slide, wiggle, 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 slide. Jump, jump, star, jump, jump, star, slide, wiggle, 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 slide. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, in a little circle turn around. Slide to the left, then slide to the right, hands in the air, then on the ground. Grab your partner's hands and twirl around the floor Round and round and round and round and round Then stand back in line and tap your heels in time Two steps forward, two steps back and tap Two, three, four Clap your hands, step your feet In a little circle turn around Slide to the left, then slide to the right Hands in the air, then on the ground Grab your partner's hands and twirl around the floor Round and round and round and round and round Then stand back in line and tap your heels in time Two steps forward, two steps back and tap Two, three, four Jump, jump, star Jump, jump, star Slide, wiggle, 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 slide Jump, jump, star Jump, jump, star Slide, wiggle, 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 slide Jump, jump, star, jump, jump, star, slide, wiggle, 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 slide. Jump, jump, star, jump, jump, star, slide, wiggle, 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 slide. <laughs> 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 Loving those star jumps. What a fan, buzzy, tastic, energetic way to start the day. <laughs> Oh, did you realise, Barnaby, Harmony, Rhapsody, that today is all about me? About you, Wizzy? Mm -hmm. uh, stars? Mm, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> today is not about wizards. It's all about stars. Whoa! Oh! Oh, Wizzy, don't get upset. <gasps> we didn't mean to upset <gasps> you. No. <laughs> oh, Rhapsody and Barnaby, I think Wizzy is trying to show us his starry, starry wizard's cape. Oh. <laughs> you see, stripes might be Barnaby's thing, but stars and wizards, they just go together. Oh, of <laughs> course they do, Wizzy. Oh, and stars in the sky twinkle so beautifully. Mm. Oh, I wonder why they twinkle. <laughs> you should know that, Rhapsody. <laughs> That's because the star fairies are turning giant lights on and off, on and off, on and off, oh. on and off. You realise my busy, buzzy friend, but it's actually hundreds and thousands of little glowworms up in the sky waving their little glow tails. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, they are both very good guesses, <laughs> but I don't think the twinkling stars are caused by giant lights. <laughs> or glowworms. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we ask 
Coraline the Clever Pixie. <laughs> Special magic fairy wand, we need a little help. Please bring to us a fairy mail and a fairy pen as well. <laughs> Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us why the stars in the night sky are so twinkly? <laughs> Love from your fairyland friends. Will you mail it, Barnaby? Sure. I'm buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we'll help you send it by fairy mail. Oh, good. <laughs> we wrote a special letter. This letter now we send. Please grow wings and fly, fly, fly. Take this letter to our friend. Did you know that? When I do my magic spells, stars shoot out of the ends. Here, watch. <clears throat> Wizardly wand of mine, please show all my friends how stars shoot out of your ends. Gosh, Wizzy, you know you're not supposed to do wizard magic in fairyland. Look what you've done. Uh, Rhapsody, there's no harm done. Although I do feel a little bit sparkly today. But it doesn't seem like Wizzy's caused any major disaster, so cool. <laughs> okay, Wizzy, come on, let's go out and play. Oh, no, fairies. I've heard of starfish, but star bee? Oh, please help. <laughs> oh, Harmony, <laughs> I think we're going to need the magic fairy spell book from the snuggery. Back in Fairy Five. <laughs> Count with me. Fairy one, fairy two, fairy three, fairy four, fairy five. Oh, there <laughs> you go. Mm. Come on, Wizzy, try to keep up. I'm going really fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Barnaby, go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Barnaby, will you forgive me for giving you a starry, starry head? Wizzy, you need to control Ooh. your magic. Yeah. <laughs> But seeing as it's a starry, starry day, I think we should make today's fairy green tip all about the stars and the sky too. <laughs> Being fairy green is cool. Being fairy green is great. With a green step, each day Earth can be saved. So help our planet Earth and do the things we say. With a green step, each day Earth can be saved. Wizzy. Today, our fairy green tip should be all about keeping the sky clear and clean so that we can see the stars at night. Oh, great! <laughs> awesome! OK. Well, yeah. what is it, BB? Oh, <laughs> ride your bike! That's right. <laughs> what? Ride your bike? How's that going to help the sky at night? Well, Wizzy, if you ride your bike or walk instead of taking the car, you'll be putting less exhaust fumes up into the sky so it won't be as <coughs> smoky <coughs> or as smoggy. <coughs> oh, whistling Weeblies, that's wonderful. And besides, walking and cycling and skipping and running and jumping <coughs> can be good for you. <coughs> Wizzy. You need to slow down, because with, with a green, green step, step each day, Earth, Earth can be saved. Oh, hi, Barnaby. Oh, hi. <laughs> we found the perfect spell to turn your head back to normal. Oh, actually, I I've kind of enjoyed having a starry, starry head <laughs> and being the busy, buzzy bee that I am. <laughs> I'm already a star. <laughs> we know that. Um, I was thinking I, I could keep it for the rest of the day and maybe you could change it back at bedtime? Oh, that's <laughs> fine, Barnaby. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of bedtime and starry nights, do you think Cordeline has the answer for us yet? <laughs> well, I'm sure she does. She's so clever. <laughs> oh, fairy hello. I've heard it's a starry, starry day in Fairyland today. I love star jumping, don't you? Oh, 
wonder what today's question from Harmony and Rhapsody could be. Dear Cordeline the Clever Pixie, can you please tell us why the stars in the night sky are so twinkly? <laughs> Great question, fairies. It's a bit tricky, but I'm sure you'll get the idea. When you look up in the night sky, our eyes see about 6,000 stars. Have you ever done that? Have you seen how the stars seem to twinkle? Actually, fairies, that's not the stars doing that. Most stars shine in a steady light. The reason is, is that there is lots and lots of air between the stars and our eyes. And as the air moves, it causes the starlight to bend as it travels down from the sky to our eyes. And as the starlight bends, our eyes think the stars are twinkling. <laughs> Very goodbye. Ooh, wow. So the moving air bends the starlight, and by bending the light, it makes it look like the stars are twinkling. <laughs> oh, well, if I bend my head, does my star twinkle? <laughs> <laughs> Barnaby, you are twinkling like the brightest stars in the sky. Oh. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> We've had such a fun and starry day in Fairyland today. <laughs> in fact, I'm sure everyone will agree there's no better way to describe today than... Fan fairy tastic <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We had the most whiz-bang wonderful time, or even my spells went, well, OK. <laughs> but now we have to go. So, from everyone in Fairyland, Fairy, fairy goodbye! Goodbye to all our friends. It's sad that we must go. We had a lovely time today. Had some funny laughs today. Made some special friends today. And now we have to go. With a harmony wave and a harmony wiggle. A harmony kiss and a harmony giggle. A big goodbye from harmony. Now I have to go. With a rhapsody wave and a rhapsody wiggle. A rhapsody kiss and a rhapsody giggle. A big goodbye from rhapsody. Now How to be a fan fairy tastic friend. <laughs> fairy friendship rule number one is to love your friends just the way they are. Fairy friendship rule number two is to be happy, giggly <laughs> and positive. Fairy friendship rule number three is sharing. Sharing is for caring friends. Fairy friendship rule number four is a hug a day and your friends will stay. And fairy friendship rule number five is to say sorry if you make mistakes and forgive your friends if they make mistakes. Very goodbye. <laughs>